Hello guys, welcome back! In today's video we are going to report together my Phalaenopsis Ivy. She is starting to fade her blooms and uh, the tip of the spike didn't uh, start to grow any new buds and the medium is really breaked down, it smells horrible, it uh, makes also all sorts of uh, molds inside and uh, I want to take her out of this medium. So I thought I will take you along during this process. So let's take her tag out and her stake and see what I have inside. Gently squeeze the pot. See what I was saying? Here I have some molds and it's not the only place, it's all over the place. I don't want the roots to die. She will also need a bigger pot. I have a root tip here that I think will be breaked, but uh, that's fine, I guess. So, pull it out. Oh my gosh. She's so... Here we go. So just look at this medium. It is all moldy. This is why I like to report new orchids as soon as I can. So I will gently try to move the roots around and uh, take this uh, medium out from the roots. This is a mixture of small bark and coconut husk. And the uh, deadly plug inside the root ball. This is not made from moss, this is made from a sort of compressed peat moss, which is a lot better than sphagnum moss. Let me show you something. So here this root wanted to branch out, but the tip of the root it is black because the medium it is too acidic. This is what happens when you use organic medium as uh, bark chips and uh, it's starting to break down and you don't report it at the appropriate moment. But as I can see I have a lot of root tips starting to grow which is awesome. She will take hold of the new pot right away. So this is all I can do for her for now. Now I want to go to the sink and shower the root system as best as I can. I have checked the root system and the only dead root that I have it is this one here. That it's quite stiff. And maybe this little part here but everything else looks alive. I'm quite happy that my boyfriend found such a healthy orchid. Now I want to spray the orchid with hydrogen peroxide 3% which will kill any snails, snail eggs or fungus on the orchid. And now I will let my orchid fizz for about 3 minutes. I will use a 23 centimeters plastic pot which has uh, some holes inside. Uh, they are not needed but I am reusing this pot from a vendor that I owned before. And um, yeah, I don't have another pot so I will use this one. Now because I have big drainage holes I want to place some uh, little pieces of uh, a clay pot on the bottom. so. Uh, the medium won't fall. And it is 
close enough as medium i will use a mixture of leca beads and ceramics i think i have about 50 percent leca beads and 50 percent ceramics and now what i want to do is uh, place a small layer of uh, medium at the bottom of the pot i think this should be enough now i will place my orchid like so and i will make sure the stem of the orchid it is uh, right at uh, a 90 degrees angle because i want to make sure i will train this orchid to continue to grow upwards like uh, she is already because uh, i don't like phalaenopsis leaning over and um, i don't know if you have watched it already but i have a really nice video about how to train phalaenopsis orchids to grow upwards like this one is i prefer to keep my phalaenopsis growing this way because uh, they will take less space in the growing room What I want to do it is add some uh, slow release fertilizer inside the medium. I want to make sure I properly fertilize my orchid and I usually fertilize Phalaenopsis orchids with a concentration of a solution of about uh, 600 ppm. But uh, I do consider uh, some slow release fertilizer is needed for Phalaenopsis. So I will add maybe this amount of fertilizer in the pot. like so and now i will add the rest of the medium now when you're uh, repotting phalaenopsis orchids you need to make sure that uh, the stem of the orchid and all the leaves are above the medium so uh, your orchid won't rot and now I will go to the sink, I will water the orchid from above to make sure all this little dust here inside the pot will be uh, flushed away and I will place the orchid on a tray. And this is pretty much all guys. I consider uh, Phalaenopsis orchids really easy to grow and if you make sure you fertilize them correctly you will get much more than uh, 4 blooms like I have here. Alrighty guys, see you all next time, thank you for watching, bye!